Hey everyone, it's Two Pretty Dees with Palm Today Podcast Sussex. Hi. <laughs> We're back and this is episode 23. Yes. And before we get started, we want to talk about some of the exciting things that's happening in the squatty in, world. Yes, indeed. Yes. Very exciting. So a big clap for Sussex Timeline. Yes. Yes. They have produced and uh, developed an application that shows the timeline of Harry and Meghan, Archie and Lilibet through the years. Everything that they've... Everything. Everything. Their entire just history. Even history. going back for both Meghan and Harry. When they were young kids. Yes. Exactly. It's really awesome. Everyone should definitely check definitely it out. Definitely check it out. I mean, just blown away by the way that all the information is pulled together. Mm -hmm. The imagery. There's the interactive uh, features. Exactly. And I mean, there are lots of like everything on the timeline, just a little quick thing here, is that you'd see different colors, you know, um, the imagery with different colors. Each color means something different. Like you see green, that's like one person. Purple is another, another person. Sussex man, family member. Blue yeah. is Archie. Little bit might be, I don't know, green or pink, but each color represents someone. So when you navigate through it or you're mm -hmm. looking at the timeline, you can say, oh, there's a lot of yellow boxes going by. That could be, oh, look what Megan has been up to. Exactly. <laughs> she was really busy and gets here. Yeah. You know, and and then, oh my God, I forgot that happened during that time. Exactly. 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 So it's really neat. So definitely check this out. Uh, follow them on Twitter and Instagram. Instagram and and you go directly to the the application at sussextimeline.com. Yes, and they have a YouTube channel, so definitely subscribe to the YouTube tube channel. And um, there's also some frequently asked questions, or if you have any questions on how things work, I've been playing around with it. We've all been playing around with it. Yes. You know? Just put a question up on uh, Twitter and maybe a squatty who is, you know, uh, timeline would get back to you or some a squatty who's been using it could help you out. Yes, indeed. So once again, Sussex Timeline. timeline. Thank you. <laughs> and now to our episode, we are not amused. Okay. Right. These mm -hmm. folks are toxic. Mm -hmm. This family, toxic. The media, everything toxic. So the theme, people, toxic. Mm -hmm. Okay. First of all. It, what, yeah. what was this? The Queen made a <laughs> colossal mistake by letting Prince Andrew escort her to F Prince Philip's memorial. And you think? Yeah, exactly. So just reminiscent of all the times he's been in the car with her. Right. Doing different escapes, you know, after something would come out that he's done something not, you know, like... Knots worthy? Yeah. Or, you mean like when he went like, to go visit Jeffrey and had pictures with exactly, him? Exactly. And, and then things. all of a sudden they're right. going to church together? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, up to the, even up to the ladies when he decided to run away to Balmoral where she was staying and then... Oh, you mean... Castle hopping. Ca yeah, the cost <laughs> castle hopping started. Yes. And then all the media had to have a, a blackout. You can't talk about Prince Andrew. You can't even um, mention. Take, yes. Yeah. Paparazzis can't follow him around. Don't picture, don't take any pictures of him or his family. Well, so, they've been trying to serve him the papers for exactly, how Exactly. Yes. It, the FBI wanted to talk exactly. to him for a whole year. Yes. They and just sent a billboard outside of Buckingham Palace. There was a bus. There was a bus. <laughs> there was a bus with a billboard on it. A yellow school bus. <laughs> well, it had to stand out. Exactly. <laughs> and, and all of that uh -huh. grossness. And this is what, you know, didn't care about Prince Philip. No. You know. It was all about a show. It's all about I show. mean, so much so. Mm -hmm. what, what is this? I know. And the, the way it is, is usually when you see the queen comes in, she comes in last, you know, after every um, everyone else is seated. Right. right. You know, you would probably see Charles and, and Camilla. But and isn't she either typically escorted by the eldest or? Well, no, the, 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 the head of the church would have escorted, escorted her, her in. Gotcha. So you would see um, Charles and Camilla, then you would see. Um, Calface and tampon. Exactly. Buttons and then, in his yeah. crew. And, I mean, yeah. Buttons in her crew. Egg, egg, egg. Yeah, she might be losing that title soon. And <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful Harry and Meghan. I know. And then you, the queen, you would have, they would play her music because they have to play that. You God know, save the, the queen? Yes. Or the, give the trumpets. They have to do the trumpets as she walks saying, in. saying, hey, she's coming. Yes. <laughs> and this man gets to walk in with her. And uh, that's a prominent role. By yes. him escorting her, he's acting as king, queen's consort. 
He's right. playing Phil in that role. Right. Yeah. And it's pretty much a whitewash saying, mm -hmm. oh, this is okay. Mm -hmm. After all of that, this I is think okay. Not. I think not. And then, mm -hmm. you know, they always say it's, there's signals. Mm -hmm. They wear a certain brooch or the way they wear their hat or who knows, right. whatever the hell. This is just a blatant, fuck y'all, this is my son. Yeah, that's, that's what she decided. Yeah, she gave everybody the finger. Yeah, pretty much. Right. And I don't know. I hope that she's senile and they're controlling her, but no. She's involved in this uh, decision. Oh, she is of sound mind. Yes, yes. She's involved. She has the best they're making, care. they're making decisions by committee. <laughs> gotcha. Mm -hmm. But yes, no, but um, some of the comments, hilarious. Yes. Uh, it's just... You know, just checking out, you know... Too much. But right. this right here... Mm -hmm. The optics of this. Right. And you even have... Front the, row. Yes. The it's one thing to walk her up there. Mm -hmm. Front row? Yeah, front row. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, even the, the, the British media, who is normally so false and fake and say these stupid things... They would never say anything negative. They said they so much. Out. They were like, what the fuck? Exactly. Colossal mistake. I'm gobsmacked. Exactly. Yes. In my coat. Yes. How could she the do something like queen? that? Because now the, the topic isn't really Prince Philip. It's, it's all about Andrew. It's all about the, the, the pedo. The pedophile. You, know, you can right. walk a pedophile. And then, the same one that we're paying to pay off um, a woman he apparently doesn't know. Yes. And, you know, people keep saying it's a certain amount, but, uh, uh, you know. Well, it's not 12 million pounds. Right. It's way more than that. But, yes. you know. And then straight up this is how we know betty came rolling oh, yeah in. this is straight a picture we find of us who is it <laughs> from alexis like... the archwell baby yeah she's right it's finally sticking in to um to some that the queen doesn't care what anybody thinks mm -hmm. she can do whatever the fuck she wants mm -hmm. and she is mm -hmm. and that's why she was like oh no my baby's gonna mm -hmm. come that's my baby she this lady she has a, miss my, her, 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 it's her. a person with long blue <laughs> nails she can't. Oh, horrendous makeup oh little under can't miss my little Right. No. It's, she came out with it. Exactly. Yes. Because, you know, they keep making excuses. One day she is the queen who is feeble. Right. And, and she might be in a wheelchair, you know. Oh, she, the queen made the decision and she wasn't going to be told yeah, no by and anybody. And she was defiant. Defiant. How yes. dare she be defiant? Mm -hmm. Those <laughs> men, defiant over a her woman? all of her children. Yes. A 95 year old. Mm -hmm. And then another day she is... She is strong. She, well, she's defined. Yeah, she's strong. And then the next day she's weakling. I expected a wheelchair. I didn't see him hold her hand once. At least maybe no. from the clips that I saw. She was not, she was walking in on her own with a cane. Yeah, you know, maybe around that corner. But other mm -hmm. than that. No. Yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> no, there was and nothing. And he didn't even try. He'd like pretend that he was putting his arm under no. her elbow. But no. that might have tipped her over. She, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he because, his help. Yeah, she, she was fine. Even, she was fine. Yes. So I didn't see that feeble alone. She's older. She's ninety five. But a lot of people who are ninety five still a sound still mind. Still swinging. Sound mind. Didn't her mom live until one hundred or something? All right. She fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here we go. This is what makes it even more toxic. Okay. That's why I say a lot of bad things happen in church <laughs> for the royal family. They do a lot of nasty stuff in church. A lot of nasty. Mm -hmm. All three of the mistresses were there. Three generations of mistresses. Exactly. All up in the crib. Yes. And I I learned more about um, uh, Rose, not not Rose, but, you know, Philip's side. Uh, side Countess Mountbatten exactly. of Burma? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's <laughs> the reason why the will is, um, you're not going to see it for 99 years. Of course, we'll all be dead. Oh, because they stole <laughs> the will. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, uh, and also, Charles had his, he's married to his side. And... <laughs> The other piece that he had right. um, died right. mysteriously. Yes. Yes, she died. She yes. thought she was in. No. no. You got rid of her. Yep. And then I now, think the, Yeah, I, I'm not going to say who did. Yeah, yeah. And then you see Rose. And look what she's wearing. Mm -hmm. But you know what set uh, uh, buttons? I think Willow is the one who likes buttons. Oh, you think that's I think Because thing. look at her dress. All those buttons. <laughs> To calm him down, to make him feel, yeah, baby, you know, I'm with you, I'm supporting you, all those buttons, you know. Or if she were, I'm taking this place, this is my, gonna be my role soon. I don't know, she's, she's wearing buttons. I think she <laughs> wearing um, buttons because the other one is actual going buttons, away from buttons. She you know? was wearing a Fergie outfit with that damn hat like she's gonna go off on a harry potter exploration <laughs> whatever she was wearing little, she's um... yeah it was at least it didn't make her look as skinny and as hungry 
as um as the she's looking. That ball that they catch. <laughs> oh the, my gosh. Um, okay, forget it. The, I don't know. The ball with the wings. Dang it. But it looked like she had one of those on the side of her head. Oh yeah, she was pimping. And then, okay, I yeah. didn't realize, okay, out of that dress with all the polka dots, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my god, finally, mm -hmm. no buttons. But there were buttons on the God corner. damn it, she did. She sneaked God damn it, she, she knows, snuck it in. She knows he likes buttons. And I think, you know, I look at that girl, who I you saw for a husband right next to her looking at her. Mm -hmm, holding her coat. Because seeing those in their, their world, right. they live, the world that they live in outside of the public eye mm -hmm. is completely the old fashioned Aristotle. Right. Like you're going to the way. court. But exactly. Yeah. And they bow to each other and all these different things, you know, the deep bow for the queen, all these different protocols that they follow. And when the women have affairs with the member of the royal family, the men who they're married to just accept it mm. and their wives just mm. accept it because mm. from what we've been reading mm. you didn't hear uh the kings and queen king they didn't get divorced they just but and you knew they had a whole lot of well women. there was one that used to take care of it other ways exactly off but, with their heads exactly but they didn't, <laughs> exactly. true i never on before they changed the whole religion but right. still the men just accepted who from these women, nah. um, Carl Miller's husband knew about it. He said, oh, I knew about it for a long time. And just allowed it. To I like that. I allowed it. Okay. had children okay. with her and everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. That's because it yeah. shows he probably get favor, a lot of favors from yes. the palace. So the yeah. man was like, yeah. Oh, you didn't say anything good. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You get a title. Here's your little title. Exactly. Lord, whatever, whatever. Exactly. Mm. And I think that's the difference between Megan mm -hmm. and all those other women. Right. Because Megan would not tolerate that type of exactly. activity going on. And I'm going to be sitting here. Yeah. And I'm just doing this. So one day I could be what? Exactly. You know, you'd get a title. You, you, you'd be loyal and we'd move up and we'd get more and more titles, more and more patronages and more and more money to, it's sort of like an income that you get. God, it's so, a pyramid scheme. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pyramid scheme of sex and debauchery. Oh my God. Secrets and lies. <laughs> It's and like Game of Thrones. And yeah. why do they have to drag black people into this? I don't know. But they need it. They were getting <laughs> beaten up by the by their press, beaten up by everybody's press, being disrespected in, in, in uh, Belize in Jamaica. Well, Wait, hold up. They weren't being disrespected. No. They their were behavior. They, they're being they they were being treated as equals. <laughs> exactly. That's like, how you are not you now blue blood, no. That <laughs> We are not, we are moving on. Yes. So they needed. Oh, they needed a cover. Yeah. They're like, oh no, black people still like us. Yes. So they brought someone wow. who received, was a recipient for, from uh, the Duke of Edinburgh's uh, organization. And she received the reward and was brought on to talk about how great it was. Well, you know, I don't want to discount anything of the good work that this young black woman has, has done. Mm -hmm. But it's a shame that they used it in that way. They're not ashamed. I know. Hence <laughs> <laughs> this part. Yeah. This is what we really think went down yeah. when they got in the car. When they got in the car. Oh, I, I think it worked. Yes, I see. Let's Queenie into the yes. car. Oh, yes, mommy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally everyone else. What the fuck? What the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. it was sickening. I, it's like, I don't know this family, mm -hmm. but I am upset because of what I know they did to Megan and Harry. Yes. And I'm thinking, you know what? All this stuff, all this, all this favor, you know, it's like, um, you take it and you don't say anything, uh -huh. never complain, never explain. This woman has been explaining and complaining the for this man for time. several years. His way whole life. Way before Megan got there. I know, his whole life. Yeah, and while Megan was there, they keep associating Megan and Harry with what's going on with him. So, distract, right. use Megan and Harry. And I was disgusted by that. I'm and still, still disgusted still, about it. Yeah, still they try to bring it in here. You know, right. it's like, please. Harry had nothing to do with his trifling mm -hmm. ass uncle. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's true. The focus should have been on Philip and mm -hmm. his life and celebration, but we know it's all for show. Right. We know it's for show for you know whatever. He, this is a celebration service. You know, he died last year. I know. And Harry was at the funeral. <laughs> and he was buried last year. And Harry was at the funeral. Ain't nobody had to come back for this. Nobody. We, why are we doing a celebration? Celebration. We could have just had a an hour montage thing that they kept showing that same year mm -hmm. when he died. All right. Just replay that. Nobody would watch it. 
So they had to come out, go to church, and have another service. Yeah. And, and they were hope, and the newspapers were hoping Harry and Meghan would show up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. I don't think Meghan even checked the papers. Mm. That's really so disrespectful well, of her. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at all the damn articles. <laughs> there were like how many? Fifteen or so articles. More than more, this. More, more than more. This we, is we're sharing with you of all the Harry will regret for the rest a of his lifetime life. Lifetime of regret. Yeah. Like as if he wasn't at the funeral. All right. A lifetime of regret, you know, and the same people who are trying to, to, to off his wife and kids, you know, he's gonna listen to. You and know. you know, this guy here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forget. What's what his name? Dickie Arbuckle? Oh god, yes. That's that what one. his name is? That, yeah, Dickie fits it. Yes. And he's isn't he the one who when and they his, had his daughter. interview, he did a um they did a pre interview and they asked him questions, what do you think of the Oprah interview? Oh, it was awful, it was ghastly. They, you know, really ruined the <laughs> reputation of the royal family. And I come to find it. out, the, 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 the Oprah show was like a week away. Yes. We, nobody knew anything, but they were all given their perspectives because exactly. of the scheduling, you know, they had to, they're a bunch of liars. Exactly, and haters. I mean, yeah. the fact that he even goes to this point where he says, Prince Harry does nothing but sit there feeding his chickens. How you, dare you not talk about our young King Archie chickens. and his job mm -hmm. to feed the chickens. Exactly. How dare you do that? I know. A little boy has a job. He's he got a job, a job already. Exactly. <laughs> and then he said... And then he said he should get on a plane and pay his respects to his grandpa. Yeah, and Excuse then, me? And then this is in what, a pandemic? Yeah. And then this is what he said. For now? Look around here. Look around here. Look at all the security. <laughs> <laughs> he said that shit? You stupid old man. The security is for the royal family. Harry coming in there without security wouldn't get past exactly ten people that all bum rush him. Yes, you know, and then you don't know what haters are in that crowd to do something awful to him. And then he said he could come here with his wife or not. Mm -hmm. With his wife or not. The fact that he said with his wife or not just tells me what he was thinking. Yeah, Harry, you come back. You leave Megan over there. Leave the kids over there. Right. Well, and then, but this is what I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Why are the the british people even listening to a damn photographer i know and why are they so so <laughs> right yeah, like, obsessed with who attends well, is he the only grandchild status. evidently he was the favorite maybe he was the favorite grandchild of philip yeah because and was, the queen because that's he was why normal and did shit no i don't <laughs> no, think I he know. was I she know, has so many grandchildren they just want to say whatever happens it's harry's fault right mm -hmm. like so toxic yeah, the reason Prince Philip isn't, um, he didn't, he, uh, they were saying that the reason Andrew escorted uh -huh. that pedo, that dirty guy, escorted the queen is because Prince Harry was not there to do it. Okay. You know, <laughs> you just want to, you just want to. You want to smack a bitch on that. Yes, what exactly. the hell? You just want to say, you know, let's hang out, find them, and let's just, you know, follow them and just put up signs. Yes. So they could see it. That we know they're stupid. Yes. You know, that's, 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 it's actually ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But we all know the real reason. Mm -hmm. It's because they couldn't get the security. Right. That's why. And yes. he said it. And I'm, Prince Harry is smart. Based on what we know mm -hmm. that's gone on down in Jamaica, yes. based on the speeches that yes. his brother has given, based on Those the speeches, speeches. <laughs> well, it was it was right he was reading it it was um and the stuff well, that one was, which was he reread his father's speech exactly so, but okay. exactly uh -huh. and you have to know that prince harry is the smart one so all this thing about um prince harry flunking out of school almost flunk, out of school. i think he was the one helping william yes mm -hmm. i agree he was the one helping him he's the smart one he's the smart one mm -hmm. i mean look how many and initiatives right. he for invictus yes was organized by Harry yeah. way before, way before, at a young age. Young age, Again. all Harry. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad he kept it to this day. Mm -hmm. Was smart to keep it away from anything. The foundation, yeah. yeah. But but yes, but they were right to not to attend, and they need to focus on that pedo of a pedophile versus mm -hmm. worrying about what Meghan and Harry are doing. Right. Right, you know, mm -hmm. it's all about. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can't have black people. Right, they're but, more. Ex yeah, they're more concerned about a black person in the family versus a person who does. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we don't even want to know incest. Yeah, or whatever. But, yes. So, in one of our earlier episodes, we had talked about how this family is just clueless as fuck. 
They're so dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. Each one of them are all entangled in all kinds of entanglements. Right. And this picture encapsulates it to the T. Yeah. Megan and Harry live in rent free. In their minds, in everybody's minds. Right. But all of these, they just. Yeah. Right? Just. Ugh. Too it's much. the queen uh and 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 oh she's in on it too mm -hmm. the queen recollections may vary yeah <laughs> the queen his father and his brother mm -hmm. are all on that committee for security and yes. what did they decide no. no security for prince harry no right. security for your brother right i think early on they thought that he would turn and come back because right. he's always been, uh, you know, under them. Yes, he has a couple million dollars in his pocket. But they thought he'd come running back because you know, he would know how to survive without Exactly. That. Because they don't know how to survive. But they don't know <laughs> he had the secret weapon. Yes. Megan! <laughs> she knew how to survive. Yes. And he was, they were probably like, okay, what are we going to do? Who are we going to, who's going to help us, you know? And they were like, let's just get out. They got out They're in America and they were shocked by the reception that they received. Because we saw from Everybody the outside saw what was going on. Exactly. Yeah, they could have gone to any other country. Yes. Then, and they would have had the same reception. Same reception, exactly. Mm -hmm. And Canada is still mad that they, they left. left. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Africa were like, come, yeah, come to Africa. Africa. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you know, once they, they, if they would have gone to any nation in Africa, mm -hmm. they would have been the king and queen of that nation, and that would have really. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, nah, we can't do that. We need our black kings back. <laughs> I saw oh, I know, I know. <laughs> so yeah, I, mean, I love you. They but ended up maybe a sub king? Sub king, yeah. <laughs> That'll work <though. laughs> but, but that's why, you know, they came to the US. Exactly. She's like, you know what? We need to go back to California. Yes. Let me go. Let's he go could have that African country raise money. He could have on all different animal conservation projects, all the educational young women's education stuff. But this. we wouldn't have made him a king. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't have made him a king. It would have been an honorary. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see Shaka Zulu like, oh, no. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have happened. Remember that movie? No. Sub king. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Where's Mbaku? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but you said it. That's not a pretty new thing. <laughs> Excuse kinda, me? Wait, I kind of saved us. Oh, okay. 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 You I, saved us. You okay. saved us. So we both okay We now. both good. Yeah. We both good. Okay. Okay. Mm. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so then, okay, this is, is coming up in some new news. We talked about this before, about the harassment, the ongoing throughout their timeline. Now, some changes. Mm -hmm. Jason Nuff is now finally out. Oh, okay. Good. Supposedly. Mm -hmm. I mean, he retired. Yeah. Or resigned whatever he did so he's not doing anything he is no longer with the royal foundation because it was announced mm -hmm. that they have a new person okay from uh, apparently her name is amanda berry Ooh, he's willing to work with a woman <laughs> <laughs> wasn't prepared for that okay no. mm -hmm. but she's coming from bafta okay um but this said person also has their own sets of issues Okay. Uh, it says here, uh, BAFTA boss to quit following race and sex claims, Rove, as critics claim she also became over familiar with William and Kate. Ooh. I know, right? Is that a side chick? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's, but that's the, her little Why friend. friend. You, you remember this BAFTA and when they came yes, out and nobody yes. clapped? Oh, that's her right next to that? That's her oh, right yeah. next to She's kind of older. No, well, yeah. it's not in her No, 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 no. Okay. no. So, I mean, she mm -hmm. might, maybe that's what Rose will look like when she gets older. Anyway, um, mm -hmm. so this person is now going to be leading off the Royal Foundation. That's a, that's a conflict of interest. Isn't but it? it's ironic that, mm -hmm. guess which um, thing got a, a no, back to nomination. Yeah, I was just looking at that Oatshot Awards. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you create your, you have your own foundation. Right. And you create this goofy prize mm -hmm. because you don't really want to do any work. So let's do a prize. And uh, so that's, that's effortless. No, no, no. We that's have, something, yeah, that's yeah, something. Let other people do the work. Yes. That's something that a white collar person would be doing. You know, he's not going to form any Invictus games and want to pick the up the form and call people and, 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 and be friendly the with the people who are actually, actually build rapport. Build rapport, yeah. He's Establish not a, relationships. Exactly. No, no. He just wants to sit up. Oh, I can't Actually this. organize the event. Right. No. Plan he's not doing the, that. Okay. No, he's not doing that. I'd have to go and get down dirty. No, he's not doing that. So he comes up with this award 
And, um... And I call the Foo Fighters. Exactly. <laughs> for, for, like, two weeks. Exactly. But how could his, uh -huh. um, you know, his Ulchot Prize be nominated for anything that has to do oh, with no. BAFTA? Who, um, who is making, they, they are not know, showing any transparency. Who is making all the decisions as to who received an award and why and how, who lost out on the Urchard Prize? Right. You know, I mean, Urchard which documents? The well, Urchard yeah, Prize. Well, yeah, I don't even know what shows were up for that. And then what was it even nominated for? And who nominated them? <laughs> is there a BAFTA committee? Nomination committee? Probably is, but still. Well, and I guess it's open for anybody to submit mm -hmm. a nomination. Right. Uh, oh, uh, and it would be ex-winners of the Academy and of the BAFTA Awards, right? I'm they would pretty, vote on it. Right. I'm pretty sure, based on the reception they had in 2018, mm -hmm. that none of them voted on the Urchoff Prize. I'm pretty sure that was <laughs> snuck in. When they came in and they got... And then they I stopped that clapping. Was, it was the most... I thought it was 2020 when they did the silent Yes, clap. exactly. And, and, you know, everybody did it for like... Yeah, we don't like you. We don't like what you That's did. That's Brad Pitt said, I'm going to take this home. I'm going to name it Harry. Harry, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Love it. But yeah, mm. um, yeah, so this is ridiculous. So in other news, my people are representing. <laughs> Trinidad has entered the chat, people. people. Yes. yes. Trinidad, who's Trinidad. left the um, Commonwealth some while ago, but still, you know, have economic and um, trade relationships with all the other islands, mm -hmm. have come in and said, we want reparations. And when they left, they also said, talked about rep reparations, the same as Barbados did yes. when Barbados left. So, and now the Jamaica, Belize, um, uh, bah Bahamas has said it. Yes. And there's another island. Um, you already said, said Barbados. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Now that they've said it, I think all islands who are in the Commonwealth, who left the Commonwealth, who thinking about leaving the Commonwealth, all ought to get, get, get together, together and remove the redundancies and all the re reparations plans and, and come at them full force. Move, move forward with as a one collective. plan. One plan for the Caribbean. Yes. They have more power. Yes. Mm -hmm. But definitely come together and be like, mm. here we are. Yes. Yeah. At your door. Right. So and, and, and Jamaica's going to kick down the door. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the VP Ooh. is Jamaican. Half Jamaican. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Go in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but tonight, but the, the Trini would bring the spice and the sauce. Yeah, I love <laughs> it. I love it. But the Prime Minister, <laughs> he said, excuse me, Prime Minister Rowley said, but tonight I want to say to William, having said that, I believe you, but I believe you more if you would just do now which is offer a reparation to the people who were wronged. Exactly. That's exactly yeah, right. Don't say, oh, I think it was wrong for- It was wrong and that's it. Slavery was wrong. <laughs> it, was, it was wrong. Do you know the jewelry she wore on that trip? Uh-huh. That could have been used to fix the, to, to probably build a, a clinic, couple of clinics in Jamaica. You mean the actual countries. hospitals that they needed for when- For COVID and different things. Yeah. They could have bought some COVID vaccines. They and could have bought some medications for the therapies, hospitals. Therapies, all exactly. that. Exactly. That's what they could have done. But no. But yes, <laughs> Trinidad, yes. And I agree with you. All of the Caribbean come together. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. As a collective. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And then we bring the African countries in. And then <laughs> shoot. They want to Game over. Too. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, I think that's what they're afraid of. Oh, I know. That's why they mess us mess us up so much. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, hold up. I told you about. The... Yeah, she looks like a pimp. That hat worn Ooh. by the Duchess of, of um, Cambridge at Prince Philip's mm -hmm. funeral uh, uh, service was. Um, it looks like a pimp hat. I'm sorry. That looked like something uh, Foxy Brown would have worn. I had to it to the side with the feather. Look at that. She okay. does, she's not wearing her typical... But why are you going to go with Foxy Vimble? Brown? That is something that Fergie wore had like that. Looking all crazy. Well, Fergie wore it straight. I know. Looking like a nut. But she, <laughs> <laughs> she has this tilted. She's like, Oh, she's yeah. pimping. Oh, she's, she's doing pimping. big pimping now? Exactly. She's coming for Rose. She's oh, like... She, oh, she's... <laughs> That she knew Rose was going to be there. Well, somebody's coming for them because yeah. this article was released yesterday on the 31st right. from MSN, so Microsoft News. Um, Kate Middleton runs into what Prince William's reported mistress at Prince Philip's celebration. Celebration, yes. Uh, hold up. And then another one 
uh, BBC News reports Prince William tells on Caribbean tour that relationships evolve. Exactly. What the hell does that mean? That's because he could stand up to a real man who told him we're moving on. He couldn't do nothing but bob his head. <laughs> yes. No, so, I thought he meant relationships evolved with regards to who's like, who is he talking about? Is he talking about Kate? No, no, or no. Is he's he talking talk about the tour? He's talking about no, the tour. No, but the people in the conversation were like, wait, are they talking about the the, the relationship? Or are no, they talking maybe about he's subliminally talking about the relationship. <laughs> okay. But he was talking about the country, meaning that you know, he he doesn't have the um, gravitas. The to, snitch. That's what it's called, the yeah. snitch. She's got a snitch on her head. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's, it's, Okay, you want to finish the snitch talk? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, he doesn't have the gravitas to talk intelligently with those people in the island. Right. To say, okay, could you hold off until she passes before you leave? <laughs> Yo, can you, can you give me like two months? Two months. No. He no, matter of fact, was the Jubilee? Can you do it after, after the, the Jubilee? Jubilee? Don't start before. He doesn't have the gravitas to do that, but right. he just said, relationships evolve just to excuse his his um his horrible behavior exactly yes. clueless uh tone deaf everything at, you know asinine everything <laughs> the clothes they wore and scotty the scottish news oh, put God, out an article i'm pretty i'm pretty think the scottish people don't like them but i'm not sure i think so because they put out no no they was, don't like them it was trending on twitter they, they made sure to let everyone know at every chance that they don't trending like them on twitter the mirror in scotland <laughs> yes. said that her clothes is selling out on all over the place. And I looked at those trees, I was like, who are buying these clothes? Crannies. Who are these people? No, they're not buying those clothes. Who's buying them? People, you know, regular people can't buy those. Those are clothes. The aristocracy is not going to buy those clothes. Did you see that yellow dress? Yes. <laughs> I'm talking the last one she wore, the one with the yellow yes, and the white. Yes, the one that looked like a tablecloth. Yeah, it looked like Lucille Ball would have worn that. It yeah. looked like a tablecloth. Not exactly. Not Lucille Ball would have worn that. They picked the, the best gown. Yes. And they talked about all her dresses and said, this one is sold out online. I was like, how much did they have? Two? <laughs> 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 Them, so they're trying to they was writing it like you know how everything of megan sells out no that didn't happen i'm pretty sure all that crap she wore isn't selling out <laughs> unless i see some movie stars rocking her green dress and that blue dress at the next baftas or the grammys or something like that i'm not believing that it's sold out i'm totally not believing and you're right, it yeah. was only two. The it's one that she bought. Like, the one that she bought and the one that was returned. <laughs> <laughs> it sold again. Oh my God. <laughs> but that's why I was like, is this an April Fool's joke? I wonder. Yes. Yeah, because a lot of people had me going. But who would pick that? Why would you pick that? Nobody. I don't think it's real. That's why I think the Scottish people, oh, that was just an April Fool's joke. They put that out there. Yeah. To mess with them. So she would say, Oh, look how my clothes are selling out. I'm like, Megan, take that rose. No. <laughs> <laughs> I might buy Rose's dress for the buttons before that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But what she doesn't realize mm. is because of what we've studied in the past about the royal family, the men, yeah. is that if not the women that they're seeing, don't want to disrupt their life, don't want to disrupt their family, mm -hmm. and want to stay where they are. Right. They will just continue seeing him until, yeah, I'm tired, move on, right? Mm -hmm. And they still have a glorious life. Right. But if one day they want to be queen, and they want to get um, status, and, status all that. and all that for their family, mm -hmm. they will. Oh. They could say, she could say to well, well, I don't want to see you anymore. Unless I am, you marry me or whatever. Right. So next thing you know, it will be um, Prince Tampon Part Two. <laughs> That's what so it must be. Going to a car ride. Yeah. So, no. 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 Oh. She's going home to mom. Well, I thought she. Is that why they built, uh, bought a house in the country close to her parents? Oh really? Uh -huh. Oh, you think that's already happening? That's, wh that's where she's going. Oh okay. That's where I think. Her okay. plan has already been set. Mm -hmm. I don't think she realizes, but she's already, the replacement mode is happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. So hence why we decided, you know, we talked about all that toxicity. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about how to deal with a toxic family. Okay. And our key people, the best who have lived it and shown us the examples, Harry and Megan. So first, <clears throat> 
Step one, become aware of yourself and decide what you want in life. Look at those two. Exactly. He knew what he wanted. I know. She knew what she wanted. These are the best engagement pictures ever. I know, but look at that look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Step number two. You know he's married, right? Yes, I know. Okay, and he ain't coming to Texas. No, thanks. I wasn't worried okay, about him coming ahead. to Texas. And I am happy with his choice of wife. Okay, good. Thank you. Good. Step two. Focus on personal <laughs> goals. Good Lord. <laughs> and... Prioritize your needs, and that's what they did at this moment in time. Yeah, the family. Yes. Mm -hmm. And look at how beautiful. Yes. Look how good she Archie. looks. But look how good Megan looks. Yes. Homegirl looks good pregnant. Exactly. I just, I just, mm. She's a, yes, she looks good pregnant. Yes, she can pull it. Mm -hmm. Step three, detach from topics that don't please you, and let them know you're not interested. Right. So what did they do? They said, we're not talking to the media. We're not talking to anybody. You ask us a question. We have the right to turn our back and we're not being rude. We told you we're not going to talk to you. Right. Only these outlets or and our lawyers. We, or if we said it ourselves. Or if we said it ourselves. Right. Mm -hmm. And they went ahead and spoke their truth right. on Oprah. Mm -hmm. And there mm -hmm. you go. Exactly. They said what they said. That's it. Mm-hmm. Step four, set healthy boundaries and learn to say no. Right. And what they really meant was, don't you be taking my name in vain or using my information in public. Right. Hence why Megan, Duchess of Sussex, wins her court victory in privacy fight. Mm -hmm. She also wins her copyright claim in tabloid lawsuit. Mm -hmm. So that's twice winning. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, Harry again, winning a major victory in his lawsuit against the UK tabloids. Right. As well as he won the fight with this, regards to the home office. Yes, the And to keep, the, keep mm -hmm. the information hidden. Exactly. He just wanted it on record on who was being trifling. Exactly. About blocking his security. Right. Who made that decision? Yes. It came from the royal family. Exactly. So, so if you want us to attend something, give us security. And the level that we were accustomed to and right. better. Sir. And then the boundaries. Hey, we're, we're done. Mm -hmm. We're done with <clears> you. And Moving then on. step five. Seek guidance. It's exactly. And move out. Move out. <laughs> <laughs> <It's necessary. laughs> And look at them. Look at what they, they did. Up. They got off that stupid balcony. Uh -huh. They went along looking good with her little cape. They got drove right up in that car, car. In that Land Rover by Felicia. Mm -hmm. And then now living at home. Mm -hmm. Living their best life. Yeah. I mean, look at them. Mm -hmm. Look at the glow up. Mm -hmm. How do you come back and like reverse age? I know. <laughs> Harry's look, <laughs> Megan is looking younger. Yes. Harry's looking younger. Oh. Yes. The glow. Look at the skin. Look at all supple. Both of mm them. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And look, and then he's having fun in the background there. Right, he's juggling. <laughs> <laughs> Guys chilling. I mean, come on. They're mad. They should have said that. They should have said that saying, oh, why is he feeding his chickens and not as his, his family's um, uh, memo father's memorial? It's like, they should have said, he's juggling. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> why is he juggling? Outside of a window. <laughs> But so yeah, we all of us need to follow those uh, five steps. Right, you know? and this can apply not just to your family, mm -hmm. but to other toxic people in your in life. In your life, yeah. And this was brought to you by All Thoughts. So if you want to check out more about that, you can go to their website. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's interesting. You know, this time of year. Mm -hmm. What time of year is it? This is a good holiday in the Sussex. We time. should start celebrating that day. I it was that. actually, yeah, it was, it was yesterday. Yes. I, I thought it was, I said, oh, it's today, it's yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, March the 31st, two years ago. And I got this off the Sussex timeline. <laughs> <laughs> Is that in uh, 2020, what? Prince Harry and Princess Meghan stepped back as senior royals. Yes. Mm -hmm. Freedom! Freedom, free life. Can you feel it? Brand new day. That's what I felt like when they did, no, when okay. they did that. Yes, <laughs> but no, that's awesome. <clears throat> yeah, I don't even know why that busted out, yeah. but that's how. I felt. But yeah, it's it's the media and that family. They're still trying to use Harry still and Meghan. But trying. you know what? What? Nobody is falling for it. I know. Yes, but why is the British media now um, turning on the royal family? They've turned. It's sort of like the eye of Sauron. You know, when he turns away, nothing <laughs> bad happens. Oh my god. I went when I looks at you, <laughs> the evil eye looks at you, yes. all the bad things start yeah, happening. I mean, yes. It's sort of like somebody mm -hmm. is mad at... Um, well, they mad they got sold... Uh, the uh, Cambridges because... Well, they thought, oh, these are the next thing, the, the young and up and coming. Mm -hmm. Now, they should have known mm -hmm. from previous tours, they were dull. 
They right. were duds. They but were... They, the fact that the British media, the British media always covered it up. <clears throat> they could have talked about Andrew. They could have talked about Harry and Meghan, continue talking about them. You know, they didn't show up, yada, yada. You know, throw some more salt on that wound. Keep right. going. But no, they switch and they're focusing on the Cambridges saying how they cocked up that, that tour. You know, what they said in... Um, how dare Belize. you lose the colonies? Yes. How, what they said in how he was weak, you yes. know? What he said after Jamaica dressed him down. Yes. What he said and, and then Barbados... Wait, no, dressed him down without letting him sit down. Exactly. <laughs> Hold you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You bad boy. Yes, yes. <laughs> but he went to the Bahamas. Right. Yeah, and he was feted nicely. But they said they want reparations. But he was treated. Oh my God, he was they treated were, like a king. I know. I wasn't too happy about yeah. that, but it's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have my own little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but yes, no. Um, mm. but now they're taking the kids. So they're back targeting. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. So the kids. Is that why they brought out um the 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 other two? No, they want to take. They want a family vacation, and they're going to. No, no, no. Is that mm -hmm. why they brought out um George and uh. Charlotte. Oh yeah, to distract the media right. from their mess up. This and is the first Louis? time after the talk. I have no Louis. Who cares about <laughs> You're so wrong. <laughs> that's the baby he didn't want it to have while he started messing around. Oh, uh, so that's the child he doesn't accept. Yeah. Got it. No, Louis is a baby. He would have messed up. He's not behaving. He would have not been quiet in church. Oh, uh, okay. He's not old enough to come out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, thank you for listening. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoy. Please join and subscribe and donate. Check out our website. And again, have a great day. Thank you.